Hi, I'm Coulson, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and I'm here to do the puppy. I'm allergic to dogs. These are adoptable puppies, and I want to adopt all of them. So I'm probably going to do half of this interview with my eyes closed. I'm a very emotional person, and I don't want to get too attached because then I'll cry on the plane. Oh, please don't be cute. Please don't be cute. <laughs> are they little puppies? Please don't be little puppies. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh no. I'm already attached. Hi guys. Uh, I'm a big people watcher. I'll probably just go sit and people watch. It's just hard to do that now because if I'm people watching, they're also watching me. So it just looks like I'm staring at them weirdly. Not that I guess it's any better if I'm staring at them if I'm not, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what I would do. Guys, look, it's, <laughs> it's SpongeBob's house. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Oh, God. Being able to legally drink. I'm, I'm only 11, actually. So, can't wait for that. Probably Emo Cactus, the one that I just wore at the Billboard Awards. What do you think? What about these? Do you like these? Me and my friend Ma just went in our contact list and my phone and just started calling people and we're like hey would you like to be in our movie and then we're just like great it shoots tomorrow so, <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you have nothing else going on in life right now everyone did us a favor and showed up it was really cool I have you guys are nasty and that's all right I just got one last week that's well, I got six in one in one sitting, but it was, uh, can I show them this real quick? I'm sorry, but you can just stay right here still. I have this, I got a calculator with, with a billion on it. Billion dollars, billion streams, billion puppies, I don't know. A billion is just a good number, so. Or I like this one, I got this the same day too. I have all these like black furry things. This isn't my actual like leg hair. This is just like things from my pants. <laughs> I have a uh, insane with the N crossed off, so. I'm perfectly normal, guys. I mean, obviously, we were first-time directors, so the whole time we were just convincing the studio who was giving us the money, like, no, we're totally professional, we have it all under control. It's a stoner movie, so I was like really adamant about us having an epic smoke scene, so I made it two full days so that we could one, smoke real weed, and, and knowing that I didn't want to like be just so high one day, so we spread it, the whole smoking section into two days, and on the second day, we forgot to turn one of the sprinklers off in the house, and we set the fire alarm off, and the sprinkler was right over the camera and all the equipment, so we like spread, like <laughs> the whole, the house like flooded, and we got water all over, very expensive cameras. But we had it under control, totally fine. Super, super professional and chill. My fans, EST, they hold it down for me. Twin Flame, it's a love letter and it's also a tragedy. The dichotomy of it is, it's like a roller coaster, you know? Oh yeah. What did you eat for breakfast, man? You know what? I'm proud of you for feeling comfortable enough to express yourself. Should we take a poop scoop break? Oh, so is that pee? It is. I think I was rolling around in it. <laughs> well, that's cool that you noticed that in the first place. You're the first person that pick, picked up on that. I don't know, I think at the time, and most times I tend to look at things with kind of, kind of like a, not pessimistic perspective, but just like a sad perspective. Like sometimes it just feels like, even in life, you're born and then you die. Granted, I wanna look at things and be like, oh, well this is your soul moving on to the next journey and all that, but it's still kinda just sad, you know what I mean? So sometimes things don't always have happy endings. <laughs> God damn, that's a lot of poop. That's, that's almost the size of you, buddy. Now this is really a like don't move zone. Realizing that that was pee that I was rolling around in, and then now realizing that there's 
Uh, oh, oh, it's a go. Oh, <laughs> Did I break the record of on set? Great, honored. Gotta be known for something. Totally. My it, my cat's actually at the at the cat's home my mom right now. Can I see my phone? There's a camera that's in his room that I can check on what he's doing. Oh, don't throw it in the. Sh okay. Let's see what Whiskey's doing right now. Guys, do you want to see my cat? Do you want to see my cat? Or do you just want to poop? My cat's sleeping in the balcony. So apparently he doesn't give a f what I'm doing. Oh, she's awesome. She would walk in the makeup trailer every day and just compliment everybody. And then she would sing, and then she would go on set and improv. We got so much more than we hired her for. <laughs> Thank you, Dove. Definitely Patrick from Spongebob. He for sure is the stoniest cartoon character. Brad Pitt in True Romance. The Lobster from Little Mermaid. Sebastian. That dude was high. For sure. He was high as f All these bad situations happening and he was just like, no, I'm I was like, yeah, he's high. That, and then my Uncle Snoop. But I've smoked with Snoop, which is great. You know, if I could smoke with Snoop every day, I would. All these beautiful puppies are available for adoption at North Shore Animal League America. Thank you guys for watching this interview. Ah! I'm machine, oh, machine, machine. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Cruella DeVille and these are my 101 Dalmatians and uh, my new movie, Good Morning, is out now. And uh, I hope to see you guys this summer on the mainstream sellout tour.